Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I want to review for you a movie I watched in theaters today called Ready Player One. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. This one is rated PG-13 and is an action-adventure sci-fi with a 2 hour and 20 minute runtime. It is also directed by the great Steven Spielberg. A lot of you probably know, I just I think Steven Spielberg is amazing and I love so many of his movies. Uh, Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, E.T. I mean the list just goes on and on and some of the greatest movies ever made. Will Ready Player One go down as one of the greatest movies ever made though? This one stars Ty Sheridan, Olivia Cook, Ben Mendelsohn, Lena Waithe, TJ Miller, Simon Pegg, and Mark Rylance. So this movie will for sure go down as the one movie that made TJ Miller funny. So I went into this movie obviously with really high expectations being from Steven Spielberg. Just a lot of good positive buzz out there about it, although I didn't watch any reviews or anything. It just seemed like people were enjoying this. A lot of people on Twitter and Instagram just saying how much they enjoyed it. Now, there are some people saying that the nostalgia factor is a huge deal in this one. And really, I have to question how they managed to get the rights to so many characters. I mean, you see Aliens, Mortal Kombat, Halo, Back to the Future, Bigfoot. <laughs> I mean, they just... King Kong, Godzilla... They just they just keep going forever. There's so many properties in this movie and all with many different owners that I just have to wonder how they managed to convince all these companies to let them use their properties. This movie is set in the near future. Most of the world has given up on the world and they've begun living a digital life. So they play this game and it's called The Oasis and the creator has died and he left clues behind for a true player to find and then rule the oasis and become rich beyond belief. Now so far nobody has really found a whole lot and then we are introduced to Parsifal, a young guy who's kind of just getting by and living in the oasis like everybody else and there's something a little bit more special about him. So the majority of this movie, which I kind of was surprised about, is actually all takes place in the game. I thought more of it would take place outside the game. Then there is some outside the game, but mostly inside the game. So I would say probably at least 80% of this movie is 100% CGI. Everything inside the game is CGI. You have your own avatars, and you go, you play different games, and there's different worlds, like a, a racing game and a shooter game, and just all kinds of stuff like that is very beautiful looking and uh, very interesting. I, I did like the story on this one. I thought it was really interesting. The characters were really great. Everything was developed really great. I think the only thing I thought maybe this movie would have a little more comedy to it. Like I said, TJ Miller is actually pretty funny. And if TJ Miller is your funniest character, that's probably a problem. But I think this movie is amazing, guys. It's, it's really fun. Uh, a really great movie. And I definitely think you guys should go check it out. It's, it's, gonna be a fun one. I would say especially if you were born like you know the 70s or 80s because it, it does have a ton of references through games, movies, uh, music to to kind of like the 80s generation. So I think you know the nostalgia factor will be hard at play on this one. But other, I, I still think this is a, a very enjoyable movie. Uh, you know great story, great characters like I said. Uh, really fun. So I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10, guys. I think it's really fun. Uh, it, it just could have maybe, you know, I, I feel like it was missing a little uh, to make it just, you know, one of the best. I honestly, I have to say this isn't going to go down as Spielberg's best. Uh, it's a great entry, but I believe he's made many better movies. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out the suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.